हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे यस्टरडे वी डिड दी टॉपिक अबाउट दी ऑप्शन स्प्रेड्स अंडर विच वी डिस्कस दी थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ ऑप्शन स्प्रेड दैट इज दी वर्टिकल स्प्रेड हॉरिजॉन्टल स्प्रेड इन दी डायगनल स्प्रेड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस दी नेक्स्ट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजीज वन ऑफ इज दी स्ट्रेडल दिस स्ट्रैटेजी इन्वॉल्व टू ऑप्शन ऑफ सेम स्ट्राइक प्राइसेस एंड सेम मेच्योरिटी दैट मीन्स we can take the uh, one call option one put option okay but the uh, case will be the same strike price and the same maturity a long straddle position is created by buying a call and a put option of same strike and same expiry whereas a short straddle is created by selling a call option and a put option of a same strike and the same expiry in simpler terms if we are purchasing a call and put of the same strike and expiry that is the long straddle that means we are taking the long position and we know that the, what is the long position long position is the buying position so when we are purchasing then it is the long straddle when we are selling it is the short straddle okay the difference between the option spread in the straddle is uh, the option spread uh, uh, takes place between the two kind uh, two same kind of options either the two call or two put but in case of straddle we are taking one call and one put here is an example let us let us say a stock is trading at 6000 and premium of call and put options are 257 and 136 respectively so if you are taking the long position that means you are uh, purchasing the long straddle uh, if a person buy both a call and put at these prices then his maximum loss will be equal to the sum of these two premiums paid which is equal to the 393 because he is purchasing the call he is purchasing the put so in both the cases he is purchasing so he have to give the uh, premium so the maximum loss is the uh, total amount of the premium that is the 393 and the price movement from here in either direction would first result in that person recovering his premium and then making the profit obviously uh, if we uh, if a person uh, benefits from the uh, strike price that is of 6000 so first he recover his uh, premium which he already paid uh, to the market this position is undertaken when traders view on price of the underlying is uncertain when he take the uh, this decision when he is uncertain about the market but he thinks that in whatever direction the market moves it would move uh, significantly in that direction thus it can seem that for the huge swings in other direction the strategy yield profits uh this is the long straddle there would be a band within which the position would result into losses this position would have two break even points they would lie at uh, strike total premium strike minus total premium and strike plus total premium Combined payoff may be uh, strike minus total premium is six thousand minus uh, 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 that is the uh, what we can say uh, total premium is the three ninety three. Uh, okay, so strike price is the six thousand. So the break even points is either six thousand minus three ninety three or six thousand plus three ninety three. This is the break even point in case of the long straddle. Now we will talk about the short strike. Uh, Uh, straddle sorry yes there is the long straddle okay so uh, strike minus total premium and strike plus total premium now we will discuss about the short straddle here it is this would be exact opposite of long straddle in the case of long straddle we purchase the call we purchase the premium, uh, put option here we are going to sell the call option and sell the put option trader view is that the price of underlying would not move move much or remain stable so he thought the trader thought that the movement will not be there uh, or it will move very significantly very less so he sells a call and a put so that he can profit from the premiums so what he does he sell both kind of options and while we are selling something we get the premium in return so he makes a profit uh, by selling the uh, call and put as position of so short straddle is just opposite of long straddle the payoff would be just inverted so what was loss for long straddle would become the profit in case of the long straddle the loss was the total premium but in case of short straddle that particular loss 
is converted into the profit. So the total profit is the total premium which he receives. Next topic for today is the strangle. Again, strangle is something different from the straddle and option spreads. In case of a straddle, uh, the outlook here for the long strangle position is that the market will move substantially in other direction. In the straddle, uh, the trader think the uh, movement will not be there, but in case of strangle, the movement will be there. But while in straddle, both options have same strike price. In case of a strangle, the strikes are different. So what is the difference between the straddle and strangle is the in case of straddle uh, we have the same strike price and the same maturities but in case of the strangle we have the strike prices of different uh, means uh, different strike prices okay also both the option in this case are out of the money and hence premium paid is very low because the uh, we uh, we are out of the money we have no, we doesn't have the enough money so the premium which we paid is very low the payoff chart for the long strangle when we are purchasing this strangle when we are purchasing this strangle uh, is 145 when we are selling this strangle uh, that is the uh, we will discuss it in short strangle we have a look in long strangle as uh, here the payoff chart is given in case of long call that means when we purchasing the call option the premium is only 145 in case of put or uh, long uh, uh, the premium is only 140 so the total premium paid here is it uh, 285 now the case of short strangle exactly opposite of the long strangle obviously with the two out of money options uh, payoff for this position will exactly opposite to the long strangle the short uh, position will make money when the long position is in loss obviously here the premium paid uh, they are in the uh, long position is the loss for the trader here we are selling the long uh, call and put so we are getting the benefit of the profit with that now the next topic is the covered call we will discuss the covered call today only next we will do uh, tomorrow uh, this strategy is used to generate extra income from existing holdings in the cash market if an investor has bought shares and intends to hold them for some time means if we are having these shares and we want to hold for the uh, some more time then in that case to earn some income on that particular asset without selling it means we are not selling that particular share we are just investing that particular to uh, earn the income on that suppose an investor buy a stock in the cash market at 1590 and sell a call option with a strike price of 1600 so he earned the premium of 10 rupees clear if the strike price moves up from the 159 uh, 1590 he makes a profit in the crash market but start losing in option trade sorry 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 again yes here it is for example if a stock goes to 1640 that means he purchases uh, the stock in cash market at 1590 and sell a call option with the 1600 now the example is that if the stock prices goes to 1640 that means that means if he purchases the uh, uh, call then in that case he is earning the profit of 50 rupees clear but in case of short call that means if he uh, he says the call option at 1600 so the here and the premium was the 10 uh, rupees so here is the full uh, case we can see the short call uh, minus 1640 that means uh, we have re already received the 1600 plus 10 rupees as a premium so but the prices goes to the 1640 that means we lost 30 rupees if we didn't sell the call option then we are, can earn 30 rupees more so the net position is 50 minus 30 is 20 if the stock moves below 1590 then he loses the cash market but he gets to keep the premium as income for example if a uh, stock 
price is uh, goes to the fifteen twenty. Then in that case, he purchases at fifteen ninety. Now the that particular stock is available in the market at fifteen twenty. Then uh, it is very clear that seventy rupees is a loss for that particular trader. In case of the short call, he all he didn't uh, use that particular uh, uh, option. He will not call. He will not use his right to sell that call option. So the premium he receives is the ten rupees. So here the net position is minus seventy plus ten. That is the minus sixty. Therefore, combined position or uh, position of long stock and short call would generate the payoff as defined in the 